Hello and welcome back to the GCP Mindset channel. Today, we'll talk about understanding the role of the person responsible for regulatory compliance in medical device regulation. More after the intro. Welcome to the GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. In the highly regulated field of medical devices, Compliance with regulatory standards is of utmost importance to ensure the safety and efficacy of medical devices. The European Union has introduced the concept of the person responsible for regulatory compliance. In this video, we will explore the role of the PRRC, their responsibilities, and the impact they have on the healthcare industry. Let us have a look at the significance of the PRRC role in medical device regulation. The PRRC is a key figure in ensuring compliance with EU regulations for medical devices. Their primary responsibility is to oversee and manage regulatory compliance within a medical device company. Whether it's a manufacturer, authorized representative, importer, or distributor, every economic operator involved in the medical device industry must appoint a PRRC. The PRRC is a critical component of the quality management system and plays a vital role in maintaining compliance with EU regulations. By appointing a PRRC, companies demonstrate their commitment to ensuring the safety and effectiveness of their medical devices. Let us take a look at the qualifications and expertise of the PRRC. To be appointed as a PRRC, individuals must possess specific qualifications and expertise. According to the EU regulations, the PRRC should have a diploma or certificate in a relevant scientific field, such as law, medicine, or pharmacy. Additionally, they should have at least one year of experience in regulatory or quality management within the medical device industry. Alternatively, candidates can demonstrate their competence through four years of professional experience in regulatory affairs or quality management within a medical device organization. This ensures that the PRRC has the necessary knowledge and skills to carry out their responsibilities effectively. But what are the responsibilities of the PRRC? The PRRC has several key responsibilities in ensuring regulatory compliance within a medical device company. These responsibilities include, one, checking conformity with quality management system requirements, one of the primary responsibilities of the PRRC is to ensure that each batch of devices produced by the manufacturer conforms to the requirements of the quality management system. This involves verifying that the manufacturing processes, assembly, and packaging are in accordance with the established quality standards. The PRRC must have a deep understanding of the company's quality management system and be able to access supplier evaluation records and purchasing documentation. They play a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of the manufacturing process and ensuring that all devices meet the required quality standards. Two, ensuring compliance with technical documentation and declaration of conformity. The PRRC is responsible for reviewing and verifying the technical documentation and declaration of conformity of the medical devices. They ensure that these documents accurately represent the device's design, intended use, and compliance with relevant regulations. By carefully reviewing the technical documentation, the PRRC helps to ensure that the devices meet all necessary safety and performance requirements. This step is essential in maintaining compliance with EU regulations and demonstrating the device's conformity to the approved standards. Three overseeing post-market surveillance and vigilance activities. The PRRC plays a crucial role in post-market surveillance and vigilance activities. They are responsible for monitoring the performance and safety of the medical devices once they are on the market. This includes collecting and analyzing feedback, complaints, and adverse events related to the devices. By actively monitoring post-market data, the PRRC can identify any potential risks or issues with the devices and take appropriate actions. They ensure that the necessary corrective and preventive measures are implemented to maintain the safety and effectiveness of the devices throughout their life cycle. 4. 
ensuring compliance with reporting obligations. The PRRC is also responsible for ensuring compliance with reporting obligations. This includes reporting incidents, field safety corrective actions, and other relevant information to the competent authorities. By fulfilling these reporting obligations, the person responsible for regulatory compliance helps to ensure that any potential risks or issues with the devices are promptly addressed. This proactive approach contributes to the overall safety and quality of the medical devices in the market. 5. Compliance with General Safety and Performance Requirements Another critical responsibility of the PRRC is to ensure compliance with the General Safety and Performance Requirements. The general safety and performance requirements are a part of the MDR law that cover both general and specific device requirements applicable to all medical device classes. The person responsible for regulatory compliance must ensure that the medical devices are designed, manufactured, and labeled in a way that meets the specific requirements outlined in the general safety and performance requirements. This includes aspects such as device labeling, use of harmful substances, and the ability to adjust, calibrate, and maintain the devices safely and effectively. What is the impact of the PRRC role on the healthcare industry? The introduction of the PRRC role has had a significant impact on the healthcare industry. By ensuring that every economic operator involved in the medical device industry appoints a PRRC, the EU aims to enhance the overall safety and effectiveness of medical devices. The PRRC's expertise and oversight help to minimize risks associated with non-compliant devices, ensuring that patients receive safe and reliable medical treatments. Their involvement in the QMS, technical documentation review, post-market surveillance, and reporting obligations contribute to the continuous improvement of medical device quality and patient safety. Moreover, the PRRC's role promotes transparency and accountability within medical device companies. It provides a designated point of contact for regulatory authorities, auditors, and other stakeholders, streamlining communication, and ensuring prompt compliance with any regulatory requirements. Let us have a look at the future of the PRRC role. As the medical device industry continues to evolve, the role of the PRRC is expected to become even more critical. With the implementation of the new EU medical device regulation, compliance standards and regulatory oversight are becoming more stringent. Compliance professionals, including PRRCs, will need to stay updated with the evolving regulatory landscape ensuring that their knowledge and expertise align with the latest requirements. Continuous professional development and training will be essential for PRRCs to maintain their competence and effectively fulfill their responsibilities. As the healthcare industry embraces technological advancements and innovation, the PRRC will play a vital role in ensuring the safety and effectiveness of new medical devices. By staying vigilant and proactive, PRRCs contribute to the overall quality and reliability of medical devices, ultimately benefiting patients and healthcare providers alike. In conclusion, the PRRC plays a crucial role in ensuring regulatory compliance within the medical device industry. Their qualifications, expertise, and responsibilities contribute to the safety, efficacy, and quality of medical devices. By upholding the highest standards of compliance, the PRRC helps to protect patient safety and maintain the integrity of the healthcare industry. As the industry continues to evolve, the PRRC's role will remain essential in promoting regulatory compliance and ensuring the availability of safe and effective medical devices. Thank you for watching our video, and we hope that you found it informative. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more content on clinical research. We look forward to see you next time.